What up, YouTube? The Long Dark's new Misery mode is out, and my god, is it a blast. The new mode starts off easier than I expected, but very quickly the game dials things up to 11. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. With the intro out of the way, let's get started. Misery mode it is. Game saving. Let's go. We are... Oh, we only got three pounds of gear on us. Uh, clothing, okay. And we're on Pleasant Valley. This is Draft Dodgers, in case you weren't aware. And the uh, rope to get up to Skeeters is over here a bit. Uh, we're not going to go there today, or right now at least. Um, It is cold. I'm imagining I I spawned into this uh, world with full temperature. Um, I guess it's possible I didn't, but uh, we're already halfway down. Um, we've already lost half of our temperature. So uh, I have played for a little bit. Um, I've spawned in a couple times, just kind of familiarized myself with uh, misery mode a little bit. Um, it is very unique in terms of survival you always spawn here at draft dodgers and the weather uh, around you um the weather around you is generally different um i haven't figured out if i always spawn at the same time i haven't been really paying attention to that generally you have enough time um in my experience to get out of the cold and to a building which is cool um, as far as the loot that you find in these buildings, uh, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get some good stuff, sometimes you get next to nothing. I do feel that, um, there is less, like, stuff around that you can, like, break down. Like, I feel like, um, and I'll kind of touch on this a little bit more later when we're actually officially in a building. But I do feel like some of the stuff that you'd break down for materials, you know, cardboard boxes, um, uh, I don't know, like the metal pail, stuff like that, that might be less, uh, but it could just be, you know, it, I might be completely wrong there. Just kind of like a gut feeling I have when I've been playing, like the, like the farmhouse in particular, it looks more barren than I'm used to. And maybe it's just like lack of cloth. Um, it could just be even that, but it definitely seems like there's something off. We're going to grab these cattails, um, and we're going to try to head over to the farm, the farmstead house, whatever, um, and, and see what it's like inside. Hopefully there's, uh, some matches, um, on this run. I have yet to find any in there. Um, so it might not even be possible, uh, but we will, we'll kind of see. Um, and, you know, I've had some decent weather playing this. Uh, right now it's not too bad. Uh, it's a little flurry, but um, I had one, one playthrough where, I wouldn't say it was a playthrough, but I had one uh, just start where uh, it, it snowed for about an hour, and then... Uh, it got sunny and was nice. It wasn't. It wasn't even too cold. Um, but each one's different. This is supposed to be the most brutal uh, difficulty. Now you're not supposed to beat it. You're not supposed to live for 500 days. Um, and one of the ways that they uh, ensure that that happens is there are timed afflictions. So at certain points, after a certain number of days survived or a certain number of in-game hours. You're going to um, encounter some random afflictions. And I think it was, if I remember from the the diary today or the video they put out regarding the release, there's up to five. So I think the, the first one and maybe the last one are the exact same every time. And then the three in the middle, uh, they, they vary. They're random. So 
Sometimes you'll get one, sometimes you'll get, you know, sometimes you'll get affliction A, sometimes you'll get affliction B, sometimes you'll get affliction C. It's all just dependent on your luck. Um, trying to get my bearings. Um, usually I come across the, the river. But I kind of wanted to check out a new route. And see what's around. I feel like the farmhouse is going to be that way. Oh, I think I know where we are. I think when I played, um... What, ah, what, what was it? Was it Gunloper? I think it was Gunloper. The first episode of Gunloper, I think we spawned back there. I think three, sh is it Three Strikes Farms? Is back that direction. And then, um, we walked this way to get to the farmhouse. That's fine. I'm trying to learn this map anyways a little bit better. So we'll pick up some sticks. And we're going to try to get inside before we lose the daylight. Because once... It, it's always pitch black in that building. And if we go in at night, I'm not going to be able to get myself to a bed in the dark. Grab these sticks. There's a deer frolicking al along. And uh, we'll just keep at it here. Going to do our best to survive as long as we can. And I, if we die, we die. I'm not too worried about it. The whole idea is to just kind of explore, take in the new challenge, the new difficulty, and just kind of see what it's, you know, what it's made of. Um, no real consequence to, to dying. If we die, we'll just spark up another another playthrough and we'll, we'll play for a couple hours and, and call it. Um, if we do survive long enough and we can see some of the afflictions then awesome that's gonna be that's the true plan but i'm not gonna sweat it and you know worry about like is there a wolf over the hill and you know and all that that fun stuff we're just gonna do our basic survival stuff and and uh and do our best so we're here we made it to the farmstead i just want to check need anything from there anything in there nothing out here i'd like to look in this little outbuilding and then we're gonna head inside to the uh farmhouse and see what's in there there's just a battery and some spray paint could care less about either of those things and uh yeah we're just gonna beeline it straight to the building let's go in the basement first I feel like if there were to be matches, they're going to be in this basement. Just from my uh, experience with Interloper. There is always a first aid kit over here towards the right. When you come down the stairs, there's some more spray paint. Uh, some crates. Let's see. Uh, replacement fuse. Metal pail. Alright, cool. Yeah, not seeing any um, matches. That's fine. We'll check these lockers. Clothes are a big, uh, a big necessity right now. As you can see before, we've got next to nothing on. I have spawned in with like the leather shoes too and a t-shirt. So like they will really give you next to nothing. Um, we're actually a little bit more geared up than I've been used to in starting this run. Which is uh, pretty cool. I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm not seeing anything down here. A little dark. We got some socks. And anything in the washer? No. Uh, nothing on the shelf. There's a metal crate. Or container. Alright, we'll search the workbench here. Nothing underneath. And we'll do the file cabinet. Nothing in the first drawer. Nothing in the second. Anything in the third some newspaper and some more news newsprint all right uh we can always break down these chairs if we need firewood same with these crates i'm gonna leave the spray paint i just don't need to carry it we got the cardboard box nothing over here 
No boots. And nothing here. Yeah, like this basement's fairly empty. So I'll show you what I mean about the farmhouse. Like this looks more empty to me than normal. Tell me I'm wrong. Like it just looks like it's missing stuff. And this is empty. Take that uh, with some flour. Okay, there should be some oil. Yep. And we got a cooking pot. Cooking pot. All right. Anything in these crates? No. All right. Cool. Anything in the in the cabinets? Those two cabinets are empty. How about the ones under the sink? Some crackers, dog food, anything? Okay, some coffee and some pork and beans. That's good. All right, very well. And that's broken there, which I would need a hatchet. Okay, we'll search the freezer. Oh, some fresh venison. That's good. Cool, nothing in the fridge, but we got some venison in the freezer. Now, there's a container out here on the porch, usually. Okay. Oh, please don't start up. It is. I don't want to sit here. I want to look for some matches. Now, I don't know if there are guaranteed matches in this area. Um, the only run or attempt that I found matches on, um, I found him in the barn on the outbuildings. Um, I found him in the barn. I've yet to find any in this farmhouse. Doesn't mean that they're not there. I just, I haven't had any, had any luck finding them. I'll take that. Nothing here. Okay, I'll take this. Very good, okay. So this is all empty, we'll check in this cabinet. Okay. What was that? Nothing. And the office over here, anything of value. We got a couple books. If you're watching my latest interloper run, you know I'm all about the books right now. 80% um, fire starting is awesome, I love it. So, I'm going to grab those. Uh, I'm going to check this file cabinet quick. And what's that? Some scrap on the ground? Okay. That's cool. No, uh, nope, nothing in the file cabinet so far. We will at least move it to where I can see it. I'm not going to be grabbing it right now. Uh, let's check this room. Oh, what is that? A scarf? Yeah, we'll absolutely put that on. And I'd love to find a sewing kit. Some more food. That's good. Let's check the uh, drawers here. One and two. Nothing in them. We got a drawer back here. Uh, anything over here on the floor? No. This room appears to be done. Let's uh, check this bathroom. Sewing kit would be great because that would enable us to start to repair the clothes that we have. We can easily be taking these towels apart. And if you see, there is a bug right now. It looks like it's only on uh, on Imperial. But for some reason, it wants to say that, that this tank has 55 gallons of water. But it's not. Like, clearly, there's that 0.92 right there, right? So... I don't know what's going on in the corner. You can see I just drank 53 gallons. So there's something off there, but I'm sure uh, at this point, by the time I'm playing this and you're seeing the video, Hinterland, Hinterland is probably well aware of the bugs. Because um, right now it's all over Reddit uh, about the bugs on Imperial. And uh, yeah, I'm sure they're going to work on fixes over the coming week. Something that I did... A little bit earlier uh, before I sat down to record um, I did fire up just like a regular Voyager run and then basically waited myself outside to death uh, three times in a row just to kind of see how those mechanics work 
I've got an idea for like a future series doing that where we maybe I don't know what difficulty yet stalker voyager or whatever but we basically put ourselves at we do as much damage as we can to ourselves and then play for as long as possible and uh it's it's a very interesting mechanic the the cheat death system uh, one of the things that I was able to do, basically, it will allow you to, um, after you you die, you're able to kind of decide whether or not you want to spawn back in. If you spawn back in, you're gonna drop all your gear. Basically, start with a new a new character. However, the character that you respawn in with. I want to just check the weather. Uh, the or the character that died, rather, his gear is out in the world. Now, whether or not his gear is out in the world for all three, I don't know. Like, if you die three times in a row before you recover your gear, does it save? I don't know. I didn't get that far. But with the gear out in the world, uh, I wonder if we should sleep kind of till morning. Got water. How much food do I have? Eat these ketchup chips. They're not getting any any better condition wise. Got 600 there. And carrots. I mean, I have some food. Can we sleep for like an hour? I just wanna. Oh, you know what? I should read. I'm gonna read next time, not sleep. At least it'll warm us up, but. Yeah, we're gonna read while I have the light and I wait for the um, the storm to kind of pass a little bit. What was I saying? So, you get option, when you respawn, you get an option to spawn near your stuff or farther, further, like basically, it's like, do you want to spawn in the same region as the stuff that you lost? So if you die in Muskeg and you hit spawn nearby, you're going to spawn in Muskeg. But your condition's lower, you're obviously worse for wear, and it's going to be more difficult to get back to your stuff. So you can do that if you want to get your stuff immediately, because once you have it back, you... Uh, you're set, right? You can actually, once you have your stuff back, you can, you, you got all your, your old gear. The other option is to spawn further away. And from what I have, every time I selected respawn further away, you would spawn in a whole nother region. So, for instance, I spawned uh, in, was it Ash Canyon? Yeah, I spawned in Ash Canyon, I waited myself to death, I hit spawn in a, a safe place, and I spawned in Muskeg. Then when I did it again, as in spawn safe, I spawned in Muskeg, and then when I said I want to spawn uh, in, in a safe place again, it spawned me this time over in... Uh, was it... It was actually Coastal Highway. But the glitch, when I spawned in, the game gives you the message for where you are. And it said I was in Quonset, Quonset uh, Forlorn Muskeg is where it told me I was. And then when I hit the map here, it would say Timberwolf Mountain in the, in the uh, upper right corner. And then when I went outside, that's where it said, oh, hey, you're in... Uh, oh, hey, you're in uh, Desolation. Not Desolation Point. Crumb... The highway, coastal highway. So it, it's a little buggy. <laughs> One of the cool mechanics, though, with uh, the with the um, death meter thing, is if you when you die, it will put the game. Oh, I don't know if that did it, but it puts the game in. Uh, yeah, in in noir, noir in noir for you. So it puts it basically in black and white. Five hours. That's too little. 
It's not gonna let me sleep this long, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're losing light anyways. Yeah, we're fully rested. All right, let's pass the time. I can't cook because I don't have any, uh, I don't have any fire. So we're not cooking, but it's fine. We got to work with what we got. We're going to have to pass the full night, basically. Because now it's, now I can't see. Even though I could go out. Um, but yeah, it basically puts the game in, in uh, black and white for you, which I love. Like, I want to do a whole series in black and white. So we might play a little bit of this on that uh, as in black and white. I don't want to pass five hours. Let's pass three. And then maybe I can sleep the last hour. I'll drink some water. Drink. Stop that there. And then let's... uh. Yeah, I just want to make sure I have some on me. And we will... Can we sleep the rest of the time? Three hours? It's going to probably hurt our condition a little bit because we're hungry. But... No, it didn't do much. Actually, we, we definitely burn food slower. I'm pretty sure. I think you... I think that's one of the things with... Um, like on Loper, I think you burn your food and water depletes a lot faster. To me, misery mode does not seem to utilize your your resources as much, which is fine. I, I kind of I, I I think it's balanced well. I really do. I'm not tired enough. Two hours is plenty, and we can always cancel it as the sun peeks in. All right. For where the, the sun is, it's fairly it's much darker than I thought it would be in here. Oh, is it because we're on Noir? Let me see. Uh back to what was it? Nope. Okay. No, still dark as hell. Curtain. go all right cool uh, i'm gonna eat quick and we're gonna drink some more water and what's our what's our resources like okay we're not too bad i'm gonna sneak out the back here and uh we're gonna go to i believe there is a barn this way over by yeah I see it I think I think that's it I see in the distance uh, but it's this way no it's it's this way um, towards the road so we're gonna go there um, I believe on Gunloper I found the rabbit skin hat in there I'm not expecting to find it in there now but um, I see it. It's right there. Straight ahead. Um, I'm not expecting to see it now, but we're going to go give it a, a, a check and see what's in there for loot. But yeah, I thought that was really cool that when you die, it chain everything turns black and white. Like, legitimate black and white. And it stayed like that for... I, I don't... I died. <laughs> so, I ended up uh, spawning in Blackrock. And, um, on my final life, and, uh, I was fighting off Timberwolves and then eventually froze to death. And it was black and white the whole time. I don't know if it maybe I'm assuming that the game would restore the color, uh, probably, like, 24 hours after you die. Um, maybe it's a week, you know, maybe it's three days, I don't know. There's probably a time limit on it. Um, but it's... Aesthetically, so cool. I loved it. And I would love... If I didn't think that um, people would pop on my channel and be like, what did this guy do? This isn't the long dark. I would probably do a whole series or video in that style. Because it's just... It's so cool looking. Alright, we're in 
the barn in Pleasant Valley. We'll search this first aid kit, which had nothing for us. Uh, it's a brand new day, so we're pretty much fine in terms of uh, our rest. We are cold, and we're losing. We're gonna lose condition if we can't warm up soon. Uh, we'll just do a quick check up here in the rafters and see what's available for us. Like, yeah, what is it? Looks like Dennis is still over there. All right, we'll walk across. We got a couple more planks to cross here. Can't stand up. Hey, Dennis. How are you, buddy? You got anything for me? Oh, some maple syrup. Hell yeah. And what's in this uh, backpack here? Peaches. Sweet. Um... Because I don't know any better in terms of this uh, series <coughs> or this video, I'm going to drink it and uh, eat that maple syrup. Just try to keep our stuff up as much as we can. And the next... Oh, it's so windy. I don't want to sit in another blizzard. I think I'm going to try to push it and get to um the barn we may get lost if we get lost on a blizzard we'll freeze to death and and we'll just have to fire it back up but if i can get to the barn then i'm hopeful that maybe there's some matches there i've only been to the barn once um and i did find matches the first time that I went there. So it is possible that that's where they are located. It could be guaranteed. We're all kind of learning as we go. All right, I should probably pick up some sticks along the way. How many do I have? 16, it's not, not a terrible amount. There's plenty of wood in the barn to break down if, uh, if I do find matches. The weather actually held out a lot better than I thought it would. But yeah, I don't see... Like, even now, I feel like our condition would drop faster on Interloper than it is with how cold it is. It is so far. I want to check... I'm, I, I don't want to walk past these barn... These, uh, little hay areas and not get them when I'm trying to head over to that barn anyways. So let's check these out quick. Maybe there's something um, useful. I don't know. We want to keep our eyes out for wildlife for sure. If you get attacked by wildlife, it's instant death. You know, you get attacked by a wolf, it's over. There's no just like it is basically on interloper if you're unprotected uh some painkillers okay good to note i'll take the feather and uh we're off back to the barn not seeing any wildlife so that's good hopefully that that keeps up it's gonna hedge basically beeline it straight there and then after the barn, we'll probably head over to Thompson's Crossing and kind of see what's in store for us there. After Thompson's, not quite sure where I'd want to go next. Could head to Ash Canyon and uh, see what they have for us in terms of gear. The Mountaineer's Hut, at least. That's kind of, like, right up there. I think you climb the rope, and... and... It's not a far walk once you head into the region. So there's that. Or we could try to... work our way down to, like, Desolation's Point. There's a wolf right there. We're gonna keep a wide berth from him. 
There looks to be a deer walking over there. Just keeping my eyes peeled. Alright, cool. So it looks like so far oh, he's headed this direction. Walk the other way, man. A couple of them. Uh, okay. The weather died down a little bit. That's good. We should be fine, even with the wolves right there, to make our way over to the barn. I don't think uh, they would get us uh, with that type of distance. So I'm not too really, I'm really not worried about them. But I do want to just uh, get inside and hopefully warm up. Hear noises everywhere. Alright, let's go in. Alright, we're in. Um, search this container. We're not warming up in here. Um, last time I was here, uh, this body was here and this torch. Which is not at 100%, that's interesting. Uh, and only one reclaimed piece of wood, so... This seems uh, fairly consistent. There was not a spray paint there last time I was here. There was the soda over here, though. And uh, let's see what else we got. Anything, anything. Um, oh, a heavy hammer. That was not here last time I came in here. That note was... Uh, I didn't search the toolkit at the time, but we'll search it now. Well, nothing. This was empty, so there's a backpack this time. With nothing in it, so it's essentially empty. Uh, let me check the truck. We're warming up in the truck, that's good. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Or, uh, I just searched that, right? Yep, nothing. Alright. Alright, cool. Nothing in the back. And then when I found the matches, they were upstairs. And they were right here on this shelf. And they're not here this time. So that was just luck. However, they could maybe be on the workbench. Could we be lucky? That's locked. Uh, nope. Doesn't appear so. That whetstone was there and that book last time. Uh, this wasn't here though. A stress pistol okay not one single shell okay anything in the toolkit no no and no actually that spray paint was up here last time I was here so that seems to be um, I don't I hate I, I'm hesitant to say anything's guaranteed but um, so far those have been consistent um, we got the heavy hammer, which is cool. Uh, but no matches. So that's, that's a bummer. Um, I guess what I'll do in an effort to, uh, try to stay warm here is I'm going to pass some time in this car. And, uh, try to warm up. We're, we're not, we're barely moving at all. That, that was an hour. All right, let's uh get out of here then. I don't uh oh, fuck. That's not good. I'm not going to go back inside. I'm just going to let him follow me. We keep moving, he keeps moving. We should be alright. If I can get to the road or get him to go after this deer, that'd be great. If I can get to the road, there's always trucks there, that should do it. But like any type of wolf uh, encounter, as long as you keep walking, 
he's he's just gonna follow you all the other wolves too they're not gonna be they won't bother you basically one wolf at a time uh, it's not like the timber wolves where they all kind of encircle you I essentially just need to figure out how to get through this fence which there's a spot right there see so that's gonna be the plan let's get through the fence let's get ourselves up this hill and into one of these cars and then he'll he'll forget all about me we can maybe warm up a little bit or we maybe find some uh, some socks or some gloves or a hat in one of the cars that'd be cool Cross this bridge here contemplation bridge okay oh I got frostbite perfect that's fine Nothing we can do about it. Colds, no way to warm up. I guess we got enough distance between us and the wolf, so. Like I said, this run isn't supposed to be, like, flawless. We're not going to be trying to avoid danger. I want to see what the game brings. There we go. Diminished form. First stage is hardship, so as soon as I find somewhere safe, we're going to pull that up and see what that's about. That was cool, though. I got a nice little audio cue. And uh, I want to look, too, in the journal to see how, how long we've been alive. Nothing. In, I'm just looking around for any wildlife. Because I would like to read this journal before we get eaten. <laughs> but uh, if we could find a car. I think there is usually a car around this corner. Hopefully it keeps us warm. And then hopefully the matches are maybe like on Interloper where they're guaranteed in the... In the um, gas station, is it? The uh, convenience store? I think it's a convenience store. Alright, let's get in the car. Cool, we're not warm in here. Alright, let's check our uh, status. So, we are almost got hyperthermia. Diminished form. You have less stamina and your carry capacity is reduced. Sensing your vulnerability, wolves are less likely to flee during a struggle. Aha, uh -huh, that's cool. Okay. Neat. So we don't want to... We definitely don't want to get in a wolf struggle. And we got less stamina. I'm wondering how much stamina is affected. So, like, I know we have less. But once we... If we could get ourselves back... Uh, up to like full energy and we could eat maybe uh, no I want to drink the soda that should help reduce our condition or that should help keep our stamina from re uh, reducing and let's go check out the convenience store first see if there are any uh any uh, matches in there? Uh, right here? Yeah. Cool. See if it's like interloper where they're guaranteed here. Yeah, look. These shelves are barren. There's nothing here. There's a potato. Oh, sewing kit. That's good. And a potato. Cool. Another spray paint. The spray paint's a cool like little idea, but it is way too common. Uh, what do we got here? Some lantern fuel. Stump remover can stay there. Nothing here. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. That is empty. Matches. Okay, so the the guaranteed matches are the same. Now um, I haven't run this five or six times, but there, that's the exact same spot you find them on the interloper. So I'm gonna assume that it is. Guaranteed. And what we're going to do now is we're going to loot this real quick. 
and we're gonna head ourselves over to Thompson's and warm up. And I need, oh, oh wow, there's three potatoes in there, perfect. And almost missed those. Stump remover can stay. One real, one more little quick once over. Anything high that I'm missing? All right, let's get over to Thompson's. I'm losing condition quick. But we'll be able to now make... Uh, we'll be able to make some water. And uh, we'll be able to warm up. And we'll be able to, to heat up some food. And, and dry these clothes. I bet you the clothes are probably a little wet too. Alright, anything on the floor? No. Alright, cool. So... We're gonna just beeline it over there, get inside, play some bingo, and uh, yeah, check it out. All right, real quick, anything in here? What is that? Oh, the family stew recipe, okay. What do we need for that? Maybe I can make that now. I've got potatoes and water and I bet you you need like venison. Which I left at the farmstead. Alright, I'm not looting this right now. Let's warm up. Alright, start a fire. Matches tinder. Uh, I'll do the... I'll, mm, just go ahead. A little lamp oil. Let's guarantee it. Save that match. Uh, reclaimed. Yeah, we'll add all three. We'll add some sticks. Perfect. Go ahead and place the cooking pot. And we're gonna cook some water. So yeah, you see the, <laughs> the problem here? 25 gallons, 51 gallons, 0.52 gallons. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and, uh, what else do I want to eat? Go. Oh, I can't cook that, right? No, I need a, a pot. I should have used the pot that we had. Go ahead and make some water there. All right, cool. Uh, we're warming up. Anything in the fridge? Anything in here? Nope. I'll grab that carrot. Search all these drawers real quick. See what we can find. Oh, I see the. I see you down there. Cool. Let's get that up there. Let's go ahead and cook the potato. Okay, that's 48 minutes. It does take a while. I uh, searched, searched, and searched. Let's go ahead and go through here. Uh, some salt. Anything up in these cabinets? empty that's empty as well we'll search these drawers we are warming up so i'm that's good i am hungry i might eat a cattail just to stave off some of the hunger or i'll just eat that granola bar uh let's get into the inventory and food is here go ahead and eat that don't give me food poisoning please All right, nothing in the cabinet, nothing in the cabinet. Nothing there, oh, you know what? Oh, nothing's wet, okay. So what is, let's see. Frostbite, diminished form, frostbite risk. We're just super cold. Um, maybe what I can do, that not seem like it's taking too long. Oh, it's boiled, not melted. Okay. That's... Okay, okay, okay. I thought this was uh, not melted yet. Let's check our clothes real quick. Uh, cloth. Do I have anything I can scrap? No. But I have cloth on me. So I think if we do this, I can make the hand wraps. 37 minutes. 
I'm gonna drink it. Let's just hydrate up. Very good. That's gonna be melted, and that'll be ready in 14 minutes. All right, I'll do it after. It's gonna take 37 minutes to make hand wraps. We're warming up anyways. It's not a problem in here. But I want to get some hand wraps and some head wraps so that way we can uh, not get frostbite the remaining time on our uh, of our playthrough. We can reduce that risk. And we'll check this last drawer. All right, and I think I searched all these. I did. I did. Okay. All right. There's a. Uh, we'll do another thing of water. Nine minutes, six minutes until ready. Let's just pass the time. I'm gonna eat it. And then let's go ahead and cook more water. 33 gallons, let's go. All right, um, we can search this. Very good, anything up here of interest? I'm going to take that curtain down, I think. Can I get up here? Why can't I knock this down? Take this down. Okay, nothing back there. Play the piano. Ding, 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 ding. All right, metal pail. I just searched this. Uh, I could break this down. With a heavy hammer. Hmm. Tempting. Let me uh, make sure the timing's good on my stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about this trunk. Nothing. Anything in the bathroom? Uh, more cloth. Anything here and there? No. We'll just take all the water. And I'm slowing down. I can feel it. That's got almost boiled. That's almost melted. And that's almost boiled. Uh, let's go ahead and... We got almost a gallon. Put it there. Cool. Pass the time. I'll take that too. Uh, 30 minutes to boiled and 30 minutes until boiled. How's our time? Okay, let's add some more fuel here. All right, and then we can let's I'm gonna break this down. Because I think yeah, we can search this cabinet. Nothing. I got this. Yeah. All right, and we'll take Oh, I didn't drink it. Take that, too. I'm going to add some more fuel. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Um, did I want to make another... Oh, I missed these. Did I want to make another? Oh, yes, I do. I forgot about teas. We absolutely want to make some teas. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Cook herbal tea. Cook. Uh, herbal tea. And we got an hour, six minutes there. And we're going to add this reclaimed wood. A couple of these. Alright, cool. We're going to eat again. These just take so long. 48 minutes. Let's cook them. Porridge. Do I want to make the porridge?
I do. All right, cool. Let that go. An hour. I want to check out back here. I know there's like a basement. I just don't know if you can access it. Uh, yeah, that's not accessible. Anything of interest over here? Uh, we got another uh, backpack. It's empty. Brain affliction. We are tired. Huh, I wonder if we want to just spend a, uh, I would like to get some condition up before we, uh, go out again. Um, let's go ahead and eat these two cattails. Is this ready? I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna make another, uh, actually I'll wait on it. It's gonna be ready. Go ahead and cook. Uh, I think we're good on water. But I did want to prepare. Alright, let's cook another potato. And then I'm going to go ahead and prepare some rose hips. Good. Alright, we'll craft that. I'm going to make some rose hip tea. I can't make any more. 51 minutes. Let's go ahead and cook the tea. 30 minutes to ready. We'll take it. We're going to go ahead and cook uh, some coffee. And I'm going to eat that potato because I'm starving and it's warm. 250. Is a regular potato 250? Only edible when cooked, so you can't even eat them raw. Okay. And we really should just cook all of them. That later. Uh, 43 minutes. Fast time. And we'll take it. And we'll take it. And we'll cook another batch of coffee. And I'll cook another batch of maybe herbal tea. Cool. Let's go ahead and drop these teas. Place it. And we'll place that one. And we will place that one. And we'll place that one. 10 minutes, 6 minutes, 31 minutes. We need to add a little bit more fuel here. Because I need to take these, uh, I'm going to need to take the, um, torches before I forget. Yeah, let's grab a couple now. Eat that too. All right, I'm gonna pick that up. Done. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Pick that up. Pick that up. And can we add a little bit more fuel here? All right, and I'm gonna take all these torches. Right, we're good. We've got a bunch of these torches now. Man, the I don't know if it's if it's just bad luck, but all these torches are like 20%. Alright, let's uh light this back up. No? Oh no. Let's get down to this one and let's use this one. Alright. 
Take it. Take it. Take it. And take it. Let's go search outside. I'm going to search the neighboring buildings quick. For anything of interest. And then I think we're going to try to like drink a herbal tea and go to bed. Uh, get some sleep. And to see what that does for us. I'm a little nervous about the condition where it's at. I think I've ever been in this house. I think I missed this last time I was in town. Crossroads house. Okay. Uh, okay. Plastic container. Nope. Um, before I go to sleep tonight, I do want to... Uh, make the hand and head wraps it's not i it's not perfect but it will help uh and let's the hell is that oh what the hell that noise was check out the church here another book backpack Cool. Chips. Another book. How many books do I have? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Like I said, how many books do I have? Six. That's plenty. Uh, anything of interest here? Another book. Book, book, book. Newspapers. And more books. Do I have enough tinder? I got four. I can make tinder out of that. Gonna want to start this one up. And throw that over there. And I want to save this one. Alright. And we're leaving the church. I got six books. I don't see the need to take more than that right now. Uh, it's quite possible that we are going to die soon anyway, so why why even bother? All right, we'll check this truck. And, oh, I forgot to check the journal, too. Check that now real quick. Uh, we're on day two. So it's day two is when we got that other affliction. So I wonder if it's like you got five days to survive and make it as far as you can. These are all broken down too. These are houses you can search. I was like, I, I remember searching the truck, the house next to that truck uh, at nighttime in uh, Gunloper. And so interesting, a lot of some of these buildings are all decimated and gone. I wonder what Milton looks like. Because Milton's full of houses that it's it's always heavy on loot. Well, not heavy, but there's a lot of area to search. Um, so I wonder, like, what Milton looks like in terms of uh, of the buildings. There's a body there. Check out this bin. Cloth. All right, cloth is good. And let's go. What do you got? Anything? Nothing. Alright, thanks, Dennis. Thanks for a whole lot of nothing. It's flurrying. We're gonna get in this last building, and then we're gonna head back to, um, Thompson's. And then in Thompson's, I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing everything I possibly can. And, uh, I think I'm gonna let that go out. I don't need another fire. Tonight, I think Thompson's is warm enough. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. We're gonna learn. And, uh, let's see. Anything in these drawers? Okay, plaid shirt. I'll take that. Clothing. 
that on. Right. I want to rip up these curtains. Uh, Water-wise, I think we're good right now. We have less than I thought. Keep a gallon on us. Uh, yep, let's break them down. Watch our stuff. Break that down. Oh, this is a 14 warmth. We might be sleeping in here tonight. Yeah, I think we're going to sleep. We're going to spend the night in here. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and um, make what I wanted to make, the head wraps. All right, cool. And the hand wraps. Cool. And we'll put those both on. Very good. Now, as far as gear, what gets us the furthest? That's 99%, 99%, 43%. I don't have any leather, so those are staying like that. This is 95%. Put those on. Um, I think we want to get these main clothing. So like this is probably more important than the socks. In terms of what we might need for warmth. Uh, let's see. I want to eat. I ate that potato. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. How much do these carrots give? 75? I'll eat one. And we'll drink. And then I'm going to... I don't want to sew anything else up. Uh, let's see. 76% isn't terrible. gonna take 30 minutes and it's too dark now so all right let's get to bed uh we are going to drink a herbal tea for the benefit perfect we're gonna drink some water tell me that was water i selected yep it was we're gonna eat i want to look at the food what do i got in terms of condition not so great, not so great, not so great. Is that going to make me sick? And how about... We'll eat these chips. And then we're going to drink. We're going to drink again. And we'll head back to... And then we're going to go to sleep. And we should be... Yeah, we're good. Uh, 10 hours. And if this kills me, then it kills me. But I think with that 14, I don't think we're going to have a problem. Yeah, that's great. Drink some more water. Stock back up. And then we're sitting here waiting. Let's uh, finish up our sewing. And then maybe even uh, read. And we're going to head back out. I'm going to go see what else this region has for us. 75. Preferably it would be nice to have that at 100, but it's it's not crucial. Uh, it is cold still. Go ahead and... Uh, how's our weight? Because that's what they said was going to be affected. Oh, I'm clicking everything else. Uh, 52 pounds. Okay. That's how much weight we have. And uh, 
I guess what I would like to do... I do want to actually go back and let's uh, break these torches down. Takes two minutes. Just do it while we're sitting here. And we'll do that one too. Cool. Sting. Right. I'm going to drop this whetstone. If I could find it. Oh, I don't need it. We're not... I'm not going to find... I'm not going to find a, uh, a knife or a hatchet while we're out and about today um, where I would need to sharpen it. It's it's kind of just dead weight. It's like, uh, I don't think I searched these cabinets, so let's just do that quick, and then we're going to get out of here. And I'm going to head north towards Ash Canyon, I think. If we're fortunate enough to find anything cool in Ash Canyon, or if we're, if we're able to make it to Ash Canyon... We'll check out the Mountaineer set. And if we don't make it to Ash Canyon, then I'll probably call it there for today. Wherever we end up dying. Um, I would typically take it, but I don't want to attract wolves for no reason. Uh, of course, the wind's blowing right in my face, too. Um, the problem now with declaring that I'm going to go to Ash Canyon is I don't know the exact route there. And I do know that it's like up around this way. I don't know the exact route there. Uh, there's nothing in here. Um, yeah, don't know the exact route there. And it is super cold and super windy. So, I don't think we're going to make it before we froze to death. I am going to just see if there's what's over in these buildings over here. If they're boarded up or if there's uh, anything of interest. And then, worst case, we can go back to Thompson's. We need to. Yeah, that's boarded up. That one looks boarded up, too. There's a car, at least. And I think, I thought maybe that was a building over there. It doesn't look like it. All right, anything, nothing in the car. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, not a whole lot to work with here. If you're watching this video and you know let me know if you ever found that heavy hammer on Interloper in uh, in the barn. Because I am currently looking for a heavy hammer on my current run of Interloper. <laughs> and maybe if I know that there's a, po a possibility for it to be in, uh, in Pleasant Valley here, I might go look for it. Boy, do I wish it was warming up a little bit. Nothing in the back of the truck, and placement fuse, waste of time, nothing, and nothing. Of course. Alright, let's, um, maybe we head back to Thompson's and try to warm up quick. Uh, and then we head out, like maybe I'll take a nap and just warm up. And I don't want to sprint. And then we can walk around over towards where I was saying, Ash Canyon. Try to get up to the mountain, the Mountaineer's Hut. Grab these sticks. There's another one over here and oh, another one I thought right there. Get it? Yep, yep, yep. All right, Thompsons, please be warm. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to that other big bed.
Uh, but as I was saying, kind of in the beginning, yeah, this is good. Let's sleep for an hour. In the beginning, um, kind of wind picking up, really. Staging out your runs and kind of figuring it out uh, might be the way to go. Okay, our hyperthermia is healed. Uh, I don't really want to waste a match, but I think I got to heat up these teas. Yeah, I think that I think I have to. We got to heat up the teas. Um, otherwise, we're never going to make it. All right, fire is started. Let's turn this off. Put it away. Just grabbed all those sticks. Let's put them in. Uh, that's more than enough time. And let's place... And we'll place this to get up <clears throat> to the Mountaineer's Hut. Need to climb a rope, I believe. I can even find it, but I gotta climb a rope. It means I might need this cup of coffee. One of these cups of coffee to do that. Alright. Um, get these going. Which one's the longest? Five minutes until ready? Perfect. All right, all right, cool. I will go ahead and take that too. Break that. Warm us up, and let's go outside. All right, we're gonna we're gonna shoot for it. Uh, I can start another fire. Um. Can start another fire over at Ash, uh, the base below Ash Canyon. I don't know what it's called, um, but we can start one there. I don't really know how to get there. We're gonna head over here, just check out this little park area, the backpack, and then we're gonna head across this river here and kind of up over there. And just see, hopefully, if if uh, if I kind of have like the right sense of bearings to get there. I kind of feel like it's like that way. So, hopefully, um, not wrong, and uh, we get where we want to go. Otherwise, it's gonna suck. And I'm gonna drink. Uh, I'm gonna drink the ray the rose hip tea. I, I found those painkillers, so if we run into some trouble, I break a leg or something, we have we have painkillers, uh, that's fine. Um, it's more important I have the stacked warmth to get us there, because it is cold. Alright, crossing the river. I don't see any wildlife. Let's hopefully keep that as such. And, um... Gonna work our way up this little hill here. And I know the location right before the rope to climb to the Mountaineering's hut is like the car wreck or something. It's like three cars and a baby or something. Um so looking out for that is going to be ideal. I want to relight this torch soon. Uh, I should be up here on the road somewhere. And then kind of off in the distance. So keep looking for it. Uh, I'm going to try to memorize all the names of these places. You know, the locations in game. And I do need to do like a cartographer. Um, run where I can uh, where I can start mapping out all the the areas. Yeah, where even with our warm warming up bonus, we're we're already frozen. I 
don't know if it's down this road. I mean, this looks promising. Do not enter. Mining road? Well, it's not what I had in mind, but I wouldn't mind going to a mine. It, being in a cave wouldn't be terrible. That's definitely probably warmer than anything. There's a wolf. I'm not scared of you, wolf. I got fire. Still gonna go around this way. Because I'd rather not waste the time having to fend him off. Alright, cool. Some reishis would be nice if I could find the mushrooms. But I'm not gonna grab them while... While he's chilling down there. That is a stick. I thought maybe it was birch bark. Yeah, my, a mine wouldn't be terrible. Unless it's like, uh, blocked off and I'm wasting my time. But, wouldn't be opposed to going into a cave. Uh, do we go up or down though? That I'm not sure. Where does it look like the the vehicles would go? There's a road sign there, so I'm going to say they would go up. I'm going to reset this torch right now. Very good. And we'll keep going. We're losing condition, but that's okay. This torch ain't going to last long, though. What's the sign say? Mining... Road. Up. Oh, okay, perfect. So yeah, we're gonna keep heading up towards the mining road and see where this takes us. I'm really digging this, uh, this difficulty, though. For some reason, it seems like... I don't want to say it's harder than Interloper... It feels to me, and maybe it's because I suck at Interloper, <laughs> but it seems to me to be just as hard. Like, it's definitely, I mean, obviously we've only in, encountered one of the afflictions. So there's a lot more to it. But in terms of, like, your first couple days of survival on Interloper, this is much of the same, I, I feel. Oh, you bitch. Somebody warned me about that, too, in the comments. It was like, you misclicked. Make sure you're on the torch. And he's right, I did. Burned a match. Alright, now we're no longer warming up. But we did make it up here to the mining camp. Or... Mining road, and we're gonna check out the mine. Maybe there's some cool gear in it. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, leave Pleasant Valley? Yeah, I wanna leave. Let me leave. And we're warming up. Perfect. I'm gonna take all of that. wonder if we should start another fire before we go through here. I'll take that too. kind of feel like we should. Because I'm gonna need torches, and now that I've got these coal... Now that I found this coal, we could light a quick fire here. Maybe up here. Where it's not going to go out. Ooh, I didn't know about that. Uh, Alright. 80%. Yeah, start it. I'm going to have to make that tinder too. I think that we're running low on tinder. All right, cool. Put this out. What was that? I think I hit G. I'm gonna check that out in a second. Let's uh, that up. You heat? Can you warm me up, please? Aha! Uh -huh. That is G.
I'm not warming up here. There should be, I would imagine, a spot in this cave for me to light another fire. Like, generally... You shouldn't... I shouldn't be restricted to go... Through this cave without having the ability to, to start another fire for light. I mean, presumably, I'm considering that the, the devs thought of that. Alright, I grabbed the coal... Got that all here, and let's get walking. We'll warm up as we go. And I th this probably takes us to Black Rock or Ash Canyon, I would assume. Maybe Timberwolf Mountain. We're going to go pick up that coal. Uh, we'll go left for now. And just kind of keep our eyes peeled. Uh, left seemed to be the right answer. That looks like that's where right went. Care about the spray paint. Uh, go this way. I know we went, uh, this is kind of backtracking. I just want to grab any coal that's down here. Cool. There's another piece right there. Rocks, don't care. And that's where we split, so. Cool. So both both pathways lead into this room here. Go down and around here. And I see some more coal on the ground. And then we get another split where we can go left or right. And we'll pick up that. I gotta be mindful of my weight because of that affliction. Uh, I saw a gate there more coal. Is there anything I can just steal from you in the... Raid this guy's pockets? Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely needed that. Put that on right now. Plus 13 warmth bonus. Can't be upset. All right, and how much, uh, wait, we're 10 pounds over. How much coal we got? Uh, we have 14. That is more than enough. 11% torch left. Uh, I think we're good on the coal. As I pick up more. And we split again. Uh, right, we can go right first. Get another, uh fenced off area. I will leave the coal just because um, you know I want to be mindful of it. Of our weight. And uh, oh let me eat. Let's catch up chips. I'm trying to stave off my condition loss as much as possible. Another piece of coal. A crate. Alright, we got some more. Oh no. Oh, whatever. I just, I'm just i going to leave that scrap there. I'll take the cloth. Drive the outdoors. Nothing in there. Search this locker. Give me some clothes. Give me a jacket. A ski jacket. Anything? No. Uh, the sleeping is going to be a problem if we don't uh, have anywhere to sleep in here. Uh, that could pose an issue later. There's plenty of coal on our way through. No candy bars through the cracks there. Nope. Alright. Keep on heading through this mining camp or mining road, whatever. And we go left or right again. Uh, that looks like it's towards civilization, so let's just do a once over over here. A lantern, sweet. And we got anything on this corpse? No. 
Oh, I'm gonna burn this out. Alright. We salvaged it. Very good. We did not warm up nearly as fast as I hoped. Uh, looks like there's still some ways to go, though, so... We'll do a once-over over here. Anything in the metal container? T-shirt and a baseball cap. Um, as far as clothing, we have basically both those items. I need a jacket. I need an outer layer. Nothing in the toolkit. Chocolate bar. That I'll do. That'll do. I'm gonna eat it right now. Again, we want to keep that. Uh, I believe we want to keep these. Uh, condi my condition up. So we want to keep our stomach full. Keep our water up. Go this way. A lot of forks. A lot of branches we can go down in this uh, cave. Hyperthermia just wore off. That is good. We don't want to be hyperthermic. Okay, that's where we just came from. We're zipping around here. Would like a fire barrel. Would be nice. Something where we could light a fire. Uh, there's a nice big area. Porter potty. Port a potty. Uh, I guess I'll carry the simple tools. Oh, more matches. Hell yeah. Thanks, buddy. Emergency stim? Oh, that's good. We might just use that. I ain't got the bathroom. Can I use the bathroom? This, this wasn't bad. Nowhere to sleep. Kind of need to sleep. Where does this take us? Timberwolf Mountain? Coastal Highway? It's the last place I expected to come out. Legitimately. Cool. Well, that's good. We're cold. Um, if I could find a building, though, with a bed, I think we're good. We might, we could probably keep this run going a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna relight this torch. Oh, that's not the torch. Right, lighting the torch. Cool. And I'd like to check this direction. I want to get down towards the water. And this looks like it leads me where I want to go. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff down there. Ooh, a trailer? Okay, a trailer's good. Last time I encountered a trailer in Coastal Highway, I feel like I was dealing with a bear. And I know the bear's glitchy in uh, this region. Unless they patched it. But judging by the, the water, <laughs> the water measurements, I doubt it. Alright, it is like the glare is insane with this torch out in the middle of the day. Uh, hopefully there's a nice little bed inside here that it can keep us warm. I'm very worried about our condition. And yeah, this isn't too bad. Uh, do I let this torch go out? I don't that I don't know. Give me the soda. I saw you. Bed. Summit soda. Got it. Search this backpack. Uh, we are warming up in here. Tin of sardines. Uh oh, boots. I'll take them. Certainly will take them. Container. Uh, what's the time? 
I don't want to be wandering around at night. But I certainly wouldn't mind warming up. Plus nine. Yeah, I think we have to. Let that burn out. Um, let's put on the boots. Yeah, that's going to help. And then maybe we break these down. An hour and 15 minutes. Let's watch our condition. Getting hungry. All right, let's eat. All right, we're not as warm as I'd like to be. By past time, do we still warm up in bed? All right, cool. Drink. And let's eat that cattail. And let's head down towards the water. There's got to be a... Probably a bear right outside. There's got to be um Like a building. Right? Can I just walk this way? Or do I, do I gotta go around the long way? I don't think I have to go around the long way. where I'll probably break my leg. I think as long as we don't run into the bear, we're okay. I see a building off in the distance that way, and I that's where we're going to head to. Unless I'm seeing a building down right down below us. Straight ahead, right there. Um, it's hard to kind of tell. The one thing I don't want to run into is the bear. Uh, wolves, I have torches. Worst case scenario, we can, uh, just light one of the torches. Um, getting to a building, though, sooner rather than later is ideal. And I know the bear chills all around here. So, there's wolves that way. Uh, but I did see, I think, a building over here. So, that's where we're going to head to. And we're going to try to wait out this storm a little bit. We're back to freezing. Uh, is it a building or is it rocks? I see a building. Hopefully it lets me in because I forgot they demolished like a bunch of the buildings here. Log sort. Okay. Okay, we got another trailer. Fine. We can deal with the trailer. The storm's building up. The burdock behind the trailer. Get inside. God, marine flare, but Dennis over here scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, what is there, dude, that's sitting in here? I don't think I've ever seen a guy sleeping on the bed. Uh, we have a sewing kit already. I think we got two. Cool. All right, anything. Nothing in that. All right, good. We're warming up here. Nothing underneath of there. And yeah, it's plus nine. It's gonna get cold though overnight. 
I would feel better if I had like a nice bed. Not like this crappy little bed here. Two hours of sleeping. All right, we're warm again. From here, I don't know where to go, though. Is it better to go to the left or to the right? Still cold as all hell. I feel like I want to sleep here. Problem is I just don't know if it's going to be warm enough to sleep here all night. Let's uh I'm going to go ahead and research and just keep keep warm, keep my water up. Next location we find that we can make a fire, we're going to and it's too dark to read. We're going to uh, make as much water as we can again and restock up. I think I left some water at Thompson's actually uh, which was not ideal but uh, I think it's time let's eat these pinnacle peaches we'll eat those and then I think we're gonna sleep for a couple hours Uh, plus 9, 40, almost 50 degrees. Sleep for four hours. And uh, see if what the temperature's like after four hours. Okay. Not terrible. The carrot. Same temperature. Another carrot. And we're going to go back to sleep for another four hours. I think these buildings are warm enough. Because I'm not seeing really a difference. Like, these temperatures haven't changed. Drink that soda. Give me some calories and it'll pop off our water and we can that sardines um <clears throat> wait the carrot Still dark. We can read though. Finish this book. Sun should be out. Yeah. Nice and bright. All right. Oh, it's always freaking snowing. Um, uh, we have the heavy hammer. I don't think there's enough. I don't think there's enough scrap for us to go to Desolation's Point. So we're going to head this way. And uh, see what we can do. See what we can find uh, in this direction uh, for buildings that we can get inside. There's a wolf there. There's a couple wolves there. I think as long as we keep on the roadway, 
we shouldn't really have too much trouble with them. We're already freezing. It's a constant battle with, with our temperature. I hear the wolves howling. I'm running out of food too, which is going to be a problem if we can't find something substantial in one of these buildings. I would love to, yeah, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, you pass this area and then there should be some buildings right over here on the corner. Right past that car. Um, they might get attracted to me, but I could make it to the car before uh, anything happens. But our food, our food is becoming the issue now. Uh, keeping our calories up. It's probably a lot of the weight I'm carrying now, too. Um, I haven't really been managing the weight that much. Kind of just, you know, again, learning what this challenge, this diff learning what this difficulty uh, requires of you. Uh, let's see. Anything in the back seat? No. Uh, I should probably eat. Oh, I don't have time to open those. All right, let's uh, let's get over to the building over here. Okay, they're there. They're not gonna bother us. We'll keep on walking. I see the um, docks. Hopefully, uh, Hinterland hasn't destroyed any of them. Any of the buildings over here. And we can get some decent loot. Uh, an outdoor jacket would be nice. Uh, if we could find one of those. And then... Uh, I don't know. I think, I think an outdoor jacket would be great. And then... Um, I just need food. I need some food. And a place to start a fire. Oh, the wind. Come on, wind. Come on, come on. I want to... I'm fighting the urge to, like, check every building for everything. <laughs> I want to go out onto the ice and check all those little fishing huts. Two. I don't see a lot of damage over here. Um... So that's that looks good. I don't think I can light any fires in any of these buildings, to be honest. The fishing camp, I think, is pretty pretty light on uh, the ability to light any fire. Uh, anything in the trash can, even a sandwich, anything. Eat something. I'm hungry. I thought that was a flare. There's a couple books. Um, so let's cut some weight. I think we got four books. Maybe drop that down to three. Uh, we've got this here. Actions. Can we make that in a tinder? To warm us up a little bit. I think we're back to the starvation trick. Let's drop that. I've got three tinder. i got five tinder. It's fine. Search this. Oh, some socks. And some mittens. I'll take them. Both. Uh, let's go ahead and put these on and let's put these socks on Actually, they're worse So let's not Okay, that's fine Okay, uh, one more little pass through anything anything in this corner No. Anything under the bed no All right, cool. Let's go to the next one As far as fires, I could start one in the fishing hut. I don't have a, ma uh, a way to sleep. I'd need to get lucky and find a bedroll. I thought I want to sit out there. I don't have any way to fish either.
Nothing in the med cabinet. Oh, some more painkillers. Let's see here. In terms of medicine. Drop. And we can drop all these too. I could emergency stim it. It's not a terrible idea if we get desperate. Something I'll consider for sure. Some accelerant on the shelf. Can I get a jacket, please? Please. No, no jacket. How warm is this bed? Plus 10? Okay. And we could stay here. It's the... It's the... The eating. The food part that's a problem. We're gonna eat this. I'm gonna drink some water. Hypothermia is healed. Uh, let's go through our inventory quick and drop stuff. Like, drop all of this. I'm gonna drop all of this. Um, what do we got here? Get rid of those. Just seeing what we have to work with here. Two pounds of cloth. I should have cooked all those potatoes. <laughs> They're sitting here. Uh, we're going to sleep for an hour. And then I'm gonna go try to see if there's any cattails or anything to eat. Some chips, anything in these in these um, fishing huts outside. Just something to help us. More simple tools. I don't need them. It's so cold. This one's busted. More matches, okay. If you're familiar with Interloper, uh, let me know if these are like the match spawns. I believe that one's a match spawn on Interloper. And then the next one, uh, I believe, uh, I don't know if the one in the mining the mining uh, tunnel, whatever. I don't know if that one's guaranteed. I feel like I'm not playing this well now. Uh, sleeping every hour. I'm kind of just... I mean, that's the point of misery mode, right? You're, it's supposed to... Uh, you're supposed to die. Like You're not supposed to survive it. But I feel like I'm... Uh, Kind of backed myself into a corner food wise. Unless I could find some cattails. Kind of SOL. And we're in a blizzard. Not ideal. Anything here? I'm not seeing any cattails on the edge. I'm just going to head out here briefly and see if I can find that fishing hut. There it is. Alright, heading inside the fishing hut. There's some more food. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Can I get a can opener, please? Don't need the wires. Can opener would be great because then I could open up this can without wasting any. Damn, hyperthermia already. Alright. 
I'm gonna head back home. Even just a handful of cattails would be great. Cattails I could use. You need like six of them to recover condition for 10 hours. So that could be like a saving grace for us if I could find a few of them. And I'm not seeing a single one. What is this? I need a knife, hatchet, pry bar. Or pry bar. Okay. Alright, well, we're heading back inside. And we're gonna have to just sleep this storm away. I have a little bit more food to hold us over. Uh, I'm gonna eat this. If I get food poisoning, I got antibiotics. Did not get food poisoning. Okay. And I'm going to sleep as long as I possibly can, which is not nine hours, because um, I'm not tired. Hmm. I need this storm to end. Pass time. All right, let's pass some time. Hopefully the storm ends. Yes. All right, a little bit of luck. And I'm not going to take all this with me. Uh, let's see. I wanted to just grab a big chunk of it. Um, let's drop. Drop three. And let's drop two and can I just get the book? Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, oh, it's always snowing. I wonder if we can get out to the water here there is the I saw it the fishing hut right so there's a fishing hut there can light a fire if need be can we take that fishing hut and then like beeline it somewhere else I'm surprised that wolf doesn't see me I know we can follow the the rail, not the rail, but the power lines uh, further through the region. There's a bridge. I just don't know if there's more sal like any salvation. I don't know if there's any more buildings to to enter if we get cold. here either how are we on water half a gallon <laughs> I guess I mean the cold is gonna kill us so and we got plenty of matches. Let's just light a fire. Warm up. We have really no choice. Let's just get it going. Get it started. I've got some charcoal. I can keep warm. It's the getting out of here that's going to be the hard part. And getting to the next location. 
All right, put that out, put that away, and let's go ahead and add some fuel. Two hours for now, is that warming me up? Feels like what, 32, 34, 40, 50, 60, 70. Feels like 76. Cool. That's good. We can do this. Uh, is there anything we can read, prepare, anything like that? Uh, no. We can drop these um, T's though, right? And I can make some more. And we can cook these potatoes off. I wanted to. Alright. Two hours on that. Three minutes, two minutes. Alright, we're gonna do these. They're not burning. We're warming up. We're sitting here. Waiting for this potato. And I'm going to eat it. And then we're going to cook some more tea. We're going to cook some coffee. I think this is our only move. We need to... Uh, we need to... <clears throat> I think this is our only move. We're going to have to cook as much of this stuff as we can. And... Um, and try to hightail it out of Coastal Highway, I think. Unless we can get lucky and find some buildings that way. I need the snow to stop. If it wouldn't mind. Uh, we got an hour left on that. Perfect. Take it. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook every tea I possibly can. And just... And we're gonna have to deal with it. Do that. Pass the time until ready. Take it. We're going to cook another one. Where did I get this? 40 minutes. Crusty flatbread. Food for the road. Oh, because of the flour. Let's cook it. Cool. Let's drop this. That's still going an hour. 30 minutes. Let's eat. I need to get my food up anyways. Uh, which one? Oh, that one. Dummy. Oh, well. Got a little overzealous there with the food. Uh, yeah, cook. that there. So none of these are going to burn. Oh, that one might burn. Let's check in a second. Ugh, it's still crappy out. Get this out of my inventory. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little while. And then we're going to have to walk probably through the night. Eat that potato. Alright, and then we're going to cook. I need to cook some water. Oops. Do that. Cook that. All right.
and that should fill us up and then let's go ahead and cook another batch of water still an hour here all these coffees are all these teas and coffees are good and we're just gonna keep basically doing this and we'll take well no we gotta cook that again and we gotta take that with us and now we got an hour there that up is that enough it's foggy there's not aurora right all right let's go we're gonna kind of last hurrah it here try to get where we can get the best we can Drink. Drink. Uh, I'm not thirsty. Alright. Let's go. Great, cool. Let's keep going. I keep walking this way. I'm gonna cross this whatever the hell this is called, lake. And uh can we get him to go that way? I tell the other direction, not that way. going all right we're fairly warm I mean it's cold we're losing heat for sure but this isn't terrible the teas are definitely staving off the the cold um, I want to know if I have enough to drink another one cool I want to keep that warming up buff going. And I want to get the hell out of this region if I can. Or at least get somewhere where I can get to a bed with a fireplace. So I could light another fire tomorrow and warm up my teas before we venture back out. This is probably towards the end of the region, too. And then this takes us to the next area, which I want to say has got to get to, like, Mystery Lake. But I don't know for certain. Uh, where do I go? Rockfall. I don't know where to go. I go up. Right, we're gonna try up. Okay. So far, this looks promising. Till right now. All right, maybe we gotta go down. I did it again. Maybe we go down and around the, um... I hear a ptarmigan. We maybe go down and around the water? I don't know. I expected this to work. Or is this, is this ice too thin over here? We're going to find out. If it cracks, then we, we won't go. Mm -hmm. 
This doesn't look reliable. All right, so yeah, that's that's not possible. All right, we'll check up here. Can I re-up? And they're all cold. All right. Uh, this leads me nowhere. <laughs> this leads me over here. And we're back right where we were. And this is going to kill me, probably. Fatigue reduced, expired. Is it up here? Like, this usually is an indication that you can get through. So is it just that I need to, like, go up here? Lose this torch. Alright. Um. How am I not... Okay, this ain't working. This ain't working. I, I'm not going to be able to cross there. So then it has to be, like, all the way up. I'm stuck on the branch. Alright, very good. Because um, there's no way to, like, crawl beneath. So let's go up, and I guess we're just going to keep going up and try to go around. And I'm just going to push as far as I can uh, until I die. Because I think this is coming towards the end of this um, attempt. Keep heading north, or up, rather. Let's see. Oh, I can't go any further. Come on. You're doing it. Keep going. All right, good job. Excellent work, you did it. Warming up is expired, and we're just going further into the mountains. Yeah, this is nowhere. Uh, maybe. See, this is where I need to get my practice in for these regions because I don't even know how to leave this one so somewhere we're lost up here in the woods and uh, I don't know how the hell to get out of here can't go that way light another torch very good let's see all right, we're gonna head over this direction now, and I'm gonna keep just trying to go up until I find a way through. There's gotta be like a, a cave or a mine entrance then to get through from Coastal Highway, no? I can't think of where else I would need to go. I'm literally just scaling the mountain now for no reason. Yeah, this ain't leading me nowhere. Yeah, now we're here. And I just almost jumped off the cliff. Alright, we're billy goating down. Keep going. Is this where I saw that bridge before? Yeah, I think it is. Huh. Yeah, I really don't know where to go. What is that? Oh, just some rocks.
Well, I think this is it, guys. We're in wolf territory. I think we did all that we could do on this run anyways. I'm not saying I'm going to necessarily sacrifice myself, but I am wrapping my head around the fact that we're cold. Our condition is dropping. We're about to be hungry. And I think I'm all out of food. Uh, oh, I've got one more piece of Bannock left. So we got a little bit of food left. Uh, now we've got a wolf on us. And I'm walking up into the hills. Without any idea of how to get out of this region. I thought it would be a little bit more straightforward than we just encountered. But... Hey, it was very cool checking out Misery Mode. Um, I'm really, I actually really dig it. I, Again, I'm still wrapping my head around it. Uh, I'm still wrapping my head around Interloper, but I feel like it's not as scary as uh, it was made out to be. Um, I think that with some practice, because you start in the same spot all the time, you could find yourselves... Uh, Essentially kind of getting uh, checkpoints on a run to and then you know, just basically Bettering your time, right? It's kind of like when you when you're running a race you're oh, I was like why did the music cut out because my heart's beating um, It's like when you're running a race, right? You're gonna constantly Be looking for that uh that that little little way to shave off a few minutes and then from there you're going to continue to uh you're going to shave off a few minutes and then from there you're going to continue to try to um bet, you know just best your time and just slowly best your time and uh i think that's kind of what this game's going to be like but i think that's going to do it for us here um, we could fade into the long dark, or we could walk off this cliff. I don't care, but I really enjoyed it. I think it was—it's a really cool mode. I think it's a—it's a unique type of challenge, considering that you're starting in the same spot every time. Uh, I'm excited to give it another shot, another time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. It helps me out very, very much, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.